Hi girls, today I'm going to be reading a section on Josephine Baker from Little Leaders, Bold Woman in Black History by Vashti Harrison. Josephine Baker, 1906 to 1975, singer, dancer. Josephine had an early start in the entertainment business. As a child in St. Louis, Missouri, she would put on song and dance shows with the neighborhood kids. By the time she was 14, she, she was working as a stagehand at local theaters. The first time she performed on stage, she made waves with her child dancing and silliness. She stood out from the chorus line, and other performers sourly called her a scene stealer. But that was just Josephine's style. Josephine's career really took off when she went to Europe. France became her adoptive country, and Paris her stage. When she returned to the United States, American audiences were not very receptive to her. A black woman who seemed too uppity for her own skin. Josephine, meanwhile, was shocked by the prejudice and discrimination she encountered. From then on, she negotiated non-discrimination cl clauses in her contacts for her performances and fought on for integrated audiences. Her fearlessness did not end there. During World War II, Josephine worked for French resistance, smuggling secret messages in her sheet music and undergarments. After the war, she was awarded two of France's highest military honors. Josephine built a large, loving family with adopted kids from all over the world. She called them the Rainbow Tribe. In 1963, she traveled back to the United States to march with Dr. L Dar <laughs> Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. at the famous March on Washington. She was the only woman slated to speak that day. Josephine was never one to fall in line. She always stood out and made her, sorry, I'm trying to, there we go. She always stood out and made her made her own way. She was a brave woman who had so much more than who was so much more than just a performer.